So where we're at now is you got the no sway, you got the hand path good, pub's coming down really nicely from the inside, but the contact's still a little bit ratty mm -hmm. because there's a little bit of work with the radius, it's like fluctuating through the hit. You're just gonna set in there, feet good, lock your wrist and your arms in, and we're just gonna start popping these things out there like this coming through. Okay. Straight arms, no break of the wrist, just making sure you're always hitting the ground. Now that is beautiful. You, you wanna, let me, let me record one. The sound yeah. even. Yeah. Oof. You, you, Good, get, yep. you getting this one? Yep. Perfect. Beauty. All right, let's look at that. Here's the hit on the heel, or towards the heel, right? Here's the sweet spot and more. See the sweet spots lining right up on the ball? Yep. Center hit. Mm. Hands are still ahead. Same little thing on your own. Under that stick and punch it. Got it. Oh my gosh, is that better, dude? That's in coming down now. This before and after is gonna be very good. So we just recently started working with Swing Caddy. They're an awesome new partner with us. I wanna to talk to you today a little bit about what they have to offer. So what I really like about the Swing Caddy is it gives you awesome metrics that the pros have, like carry distance, swing speed, gives you ball speed, launch angle, smash factor, and apex. And when you go play, you have to know how far you carry it, and you just don't get that level of information at a normal driving range. So you have to warm up anyway. I wanna know how far the ball's going. So I spend my first like 20 to 25 golf balls just hitting a specific distance, very easy to set up. Put it down right behind the golf ball and you see exactly how far the ball went. It comes with a 20 hour battery life. You can use completely standalone or you can use with the app. And one of the things I really like about it too is the audible output of the information. I don't have to walk back. I don't have to have a separate monitor or screen. It's gonna say out loud, like 110. 109 yards. This is the easiest, simplest way to have that that gives you accurate information out on the driving range. And the distance control that I just got done doing was literally spot on. I mean, I went through my distances, hit a shot, called out what I thought the number would be, and it was within a yard every single time. Equally as accurate as that one I paid all my money for. Buy now and you can get $50 off the SC300i portable launch monitor from Swing Caddy. Love the launch monitor, love the information that it gives you. We're gonna put a link in the description with all the info down below. The back, the back's lined up like really nice. It's coming down much, it's way less over the top. I'd yeah. say it changed by at least 10 degrees, maybe more than 10 degrees. Yeah, it's coming down pretty good. But as you're getting in, into the hit, coming in the ball, this the, the wrist, this front wrist is breaking, which you see how that's like an upward motion. There's mm -hmm. the thin, and it also makes the club kick out a little bit more. That's why there's still some thin. Even though it's coming down pretty good, there's still a little bit of kicking out, which is, sorry, the heel, which was that heel hit. Yeah. And you have the it breaking from the front, which is the thin, this radius is breaking. So the way I would start practicing, we're gonna do like some, some punches on this thing. Yep. Same setup. I'll still hold the stick here because I still want him to make sure he has the depth. We're just gonna do some chips. You're just gonna set in there, feet good, lock your wrist and your arms in, and we're just gonna start popping these things out there like this coming through. Okay. Straight arms, no break of the wrist, just making sure you're always hitting the ground. Okay. And Steve, is he feeling like that Lee wrist is staying A little more? bit, yeah. We'll, we'll, here, let's do some practice swings on that. See how nice that lefty hit was, by the way? That was not bad. <laughs> All I want you to do is make like a two foot swing and just punch the ground without breaking your wrists. A two foot swing and just hit the ground. Shorter. 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 You're gonna basically hit and stop without breaking your wrist. I'm, ho I'm just holding this here so you don't come over the top. So take it like? Even shorter than that. Yeah, that's where Somewhere it's gonna feel like it's gonna stop. Okay. You're mm -hmm. gonna hit this thing like 80 yards. Okay. All right, just punch it short. Got it. Perfect. All right, let's have a look. So we can already kind of see, first of all, how much better your arms are. So your arms are like yeah, tighter together. Difference. That's the after on the right in case you can see that. Yeah. <laughs> so the, arm, the arms here are much tighter, grips better, feet are flared more. Now, we, we, we're, where we're at, yeah, and the ball's yeah. better. So where we're at now is you got the no sway, you got the hand path good, club's coming down really nicely from the inside, but the contact's still a little bit ratty mm -hmm. because there's a little bit of work with the radius, it's like fluctuating through the hit. So when you're hitting this ball right here in the beginning, see how like your arm, your front arm's bending, 
the right wrist is cupping and how the club's like coming in line too fast right here. Mm -hmm. Your arm and shaft, your arm and shaft are like coming into line too quick, right? That's where the bottom of the swing would be. It also would make the club come more outside from down the line. Okay. That's where you're hitting someone the heel. So right here now, I know it was a short swing, but look. Yeah. See the difference here? The front arm's straighter, the hands are forward, and there's like an angle now between the arm and the shaft. Yep. So now when you're hitting, look at how the impact is hands better. Hands are leading. Right, and we're here, Girl. the hands are back. Wow, yeah. So now it's coming through, there's the bending of the wrist and the arms, and watch how stable this is through the hit. Right? So that's going to help um, you hit the ground more. Remember in the beginning you said you don't really take much of a divot? Yeah. My divot's kind of one of them from outside to in. Yeah. Um, but the and depth. I wouldn't say, I would say they're pretty shallow okay. if they really exist at all. Okay. It's because of the wrist. The wrist is bending and your arm's bending. You're missing the ground. Missing the ground entirely. Yep. That was awesome. It feels, it's, you can, I can absolutely feel the head behind where my hands are supposed to be as I come through the ball. The other thing is, and I don't really feel this in my golf swing now, um, I've always thought I lacked kind of that position as I came through the golf ball. And I think keeping that hand, those hands back as I bring those hips forward and come through allows me to achieve that position a little better. It almost feels faster okay. as I come through. Um, and I definitely don't feel like I'm slapping. Yeah, you feel yeah. tighter. Which is what I would feel before when I, things would start to go a little off the rails. I could feel as though I was slapping at the ball as I came down yeah. through impact. And now it just feels like I'm almost moving as a whole piece through the ball. Yep. That's a little bit better right there. How's that plane? That's got to be pretty good down the line, right? Well, the ball flight was beautiful. Yeah. At that, yeah. Wow. It's not a cross, right? No. I'll, I'll look closer here. Now that is beautiful. You, you want to let me let me record one. The sound even. Yeah. Oof. You you good? Get, yep. You getting this one? Yep. Squeeze. Good. Perfect. Beauty. All right, let's look at that. And honestly, from a distance perspective, if you look at those little half ones compared to your full swing, because the handle's forward, because you're lowering the loft, that's not that much shorter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you actually take the loft down, because normally when you come through and your wrist throw like this, let's say you take an eight iron and you throw it in and make it like a nine iron or a pitching wedge. Compared to what we're doing now is taking an eight iron and turn it down in like a seven iron. And I got to imagine your, when I break my wrist, all the speed that was well, it's all the loft. held in and generated what, what, is what, gone, What right? Eric just said, yeah. you're, hitting with the, you're hitting with the wrong Unpredictable contact, yeah, it's all, there's no good on that end of the spectrum. So here's the, um, Here's this like punch, uh, punch shot. So here's the right, the lifting. Coming across. Here's it going more round. When it comes down, see the better. club's more behind you. Here's the club outside. Here's the hit on the heel or towards the heel, right? Here's the sweet spot in more. See the sweet spots lining right up on the ball. Yep. Center hit, hmm. hands are still ahead. There's all the lowering. See, so you have to go across the ball. Okay. And look at how your arms right here, look how bent your arms are coming through. Look here, look how much straighter your arms are coming through. That's the position I was talking about when I first got here. Yeah, you see with Rory your, when I, I was just gonna say that has a Rory look. Can you show him six one more time with the yeah. cuphead inside out to hands? So one of the things you're looking at on video too, for you to scale how much you're doing something, when you look at where the club head is relative to your hands, when the shaft's last parallel, your normal, that club head would be outside of or to the left of your hands. Okay. That's gonna be a swing direction that's gonna be to the right, which okay. is gonna be pulls. Okay. Pulls. When the club head's inside your hands there, that's a swing direction that's gonna be more neutral. Got it. Like more straight shots, little straight tiny draws. Straight to more okay. push. So when you're looking on the video and we're like, hey, what are the checkpoints, how do you know where to hit? And the how far in that club should be would be like, if you just get a little inside your hands there. Yeah, this is pretty spot on. That, right yeah, that's here. really good. That's like a model spot. Same little thing on your own, under that stick and punch it. Got it. Oh my gosh, is that better, dude? That's in coming down now. This before and after is gonna be very good. You should feel that though, right? Like that ball's gonna the face different. Yeah. 100%. Add a touch more speed, just a touch. A little bit more speed? Touch. Okay. 
twist. Go ahead. Just a little more pop and hit it. Got it. Wow. Okay, good. You can smile if you want. Maybe a little <laughs> fist pump. I, you, yeah. Back flip. You're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeeze. That was a great swing there, man. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever done. Yeah, no. no, it's great. I, yeah. I was waiting overheated. That was good. We, uh, th th this view is fine. I got yeah. this view already. Good? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'm going to get one more on my phone, but go ahead. Yep. Wow. Beauty. That was killer. So That was fantastic. Thanks, Bill. Thank you very much.